Michael Soroka started out his career with some very good seasons, including his rookie campaign in 2019. During this, he threw a little over 174 innings to the tune of a 2.68 ERA, 142 strikeouts, a second place finish in Rookie of the Year voting, and sixth in Cy Young voting. He had a brief cup of coffee with the Braves in 2018 with 25 innings, 21 strikeouts, and a 3.51 ERA. The hype was real for the Braves, knowing he could potentially be their ace for a long time. He then pitched 13 innings in 2020, and then he did not pitch again in the bigs until 2023. So what exactly happened? After becoming the youngest opening day starter in Braves franchise history during the 2020 season, disaster struck. During his third start of the season, he went to field a ground ball and unfortunately, he tore his right Achilles. This was only the beginning of a plethora of injuries for Soroka. In May of 2021, his rehab process hit a wall and he had to get a cleanup surgery. It was said that his body rejected the suitors of the first procedure. It seemed that he was destined to get better, but in June of 2021, disaster struck again. He was walking into the Braves clubhouse and felt a pop. That pop was the tear of his right Achilles, the same one as the first time. Soroka said this quote, It was one of the hardest moments of my life. He had a third and successful surgery and started a rehab stint in the minors for the Braves midseason in 2022. He stated that his sinker had some of the best movement it has ever had during the process. After the minor league season ended, the Braves shut him down with shoulder soreness and had him focus on competing for a rotation spot in 2023. In February 2023, during spring training, he was fighting to get that rotation spot. He then experienced hamstring tightness and was delayed and set to start the season in the minors. He finally made his return to the majors in 2023, pitching 32 innings with a 6.4 ERA until he was again shut down with right forearm tightness. Thankfully, he did not require surgery. Soroka, at age 26, has really been through a lot and he's a battler and just wants to be out there pitching. While Soroka did not give up in his battle to get back to the bigs, it seems the Braves did. Because on November 17th, 2023, the Braves set Michael Soroka, Jared Schuster, Riley Gowans, Nicky Lopez, and Braden Shoemake to the White Sox in exchange for left-hand pitcher Aaron Bummer. Soroka had been sent to the White Sox team that is a roster and a revamp with a lot of competition. He stated, quote, There's a lot of guys in this clubhouse that are fighting for their careers. Soroka has been no stranger to fighting for his career. This is a guy who had been fighting most of his career to play hard and stay healthy. This guy encapsulates what the 2024 White Sox roster is with their culture. Them and himself have a lot to prove this year. On March 14th of this year, White Sox ace Dylan Cease was traded to the Padres. This leaves the opening day pitching spot wide open for Soraka to go and take. With some time to go this spring, Soraka has looked very good. In 9 innings of work, he fired off 12 strikeouts with a 2 ERA and 1.11 whip. His pitches have looked very good so far and the 26-year-old is poised to make the opening day roster as long as he stays healthy. I am knocking on wood while I say this, but it seems he is trending in the right direction and his body is building back in a solid pitching shape. Soraka is a 4-pitch pitcher who has a 4-seamer which he throws around 32% of the time, a slider which he throws around 26%, a sinker he throws around 23%, and a changeup he throws around 18% of the time. The White Sox have revamped their middle infield, which is bottom 10 in fielding percentage, into one that is projected to be a top 10 this upcoming season. He is a guy who will get strikeouts, but will also induce ground balls and avoids hard contact. With the middle infield revamp and Soraka's tendency to get ground balls, it's a very solid match. This should help him out a bunch. Soraka currently is on the last year of his $3 million contract. With it being a contract year, and one of the first seasons in a while he's expected to start the year in the majors, he has a lot to prove. Knowing that and seeing how well he is pitching so far in the spring, I really expect Soraka to have a bounce back season. He is in the perfect situation where the expectations are not too high. He has fought hard for years to get back on the field, and I can't wait to see him pitch for my White Sox. He deserves this opportunity, and I cannot wait to cheer him on. I'm wishing nothing but good health and a good season. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. From here on out, I'll be making more videos like this, and I do read comments, so if you have any ideas, feel free to share that below, and maybe I can make something out of it. Thanks again.